everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby, and today, today I have a video that I thought I'm never, I'm never gonna do it, uh, because basically every single person that has a YouTube channel and is talking about perfumes already did this video, but I want to do it a little bit different. So we're gonna compare. You already know from the title, Baccarat Rouge with Cloud. Burberry Her and then Burberry Her Intense. I feel like when ba Baccarat Rouge got popular, um, everyone else was talking about these scents because these were the closest dupes that we had for Baccarat Rouge. Right now, we have so many other perfumes, like so many other perfumes that smell exactly like Baccarat Rouge. I have these four, I've tested other perfumes, some are like identical to Baccarat Rouge, some are like way, way, way different than Baccarat Rouge, they have just like the tiniest vibe, so that's why they're not in this video, and also I don't have the, uh, them anymore, because I wasn't like the biggest fan, but these four perfumes, I like all of them, I like them individually, so I don't like them just because they smell like Baccarat Rouge, and I just want to tell you what I think about each of them, and which one you should get because maybe you don't like Baccarat Rouge but you're gonna absolutely love another scent or you have one perfume that you still believe that it's exactly like Baccarat Rouge but when when you actually are gonna test the original you're gonna be like oh they're not the same uh, I need this one as well so before we start if you like this video don't forget to give the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in okay let's start with the original Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Courdijan I know exactly how to pronounce his name. Probably nobody knows exactly how to pronounce his name. Anyway, the scent. The scent that took the world. The scent that uh, probably if you never went to a store to actually smell it, you definitely already smelled it on like someone because literally everyone is wearing Baccarat Rouge right now. Baccarat Rouge has notes opening saffron and jasmine middle amber wood and amber grease dry down fur resin and cedar what i am getting from baccarat rouge <sighs> the opening right now on my skin and on paper i'm getting the same thing okay so the opening is this almost aquatic marine very light, very fluffy sweetness. It has a little bit in the opening um, the smell of a hospital. I know so many people are saying that and that's the only that, that's the reason why they actually don't like or enjoy Baccarat Rouge. I'm definitely getting that but then on my skin in the dry down it's just getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter is the type of sweetness that it does it doesn't feel heavy it's extremely airy it's extremely uh, fluffy and it still has this almost sour not sour not sour sour is not the word that i'm looking for salty marine aquatic touch it's so different it's just so different right now obviously you can find like a billion other perfumes that smell identical to this one i'm happy to have in my collection okay it has amazing lasting power has amazing sillage there are gonna have been there are gonna be moments when you're not able to smell it but like one hour later you're gonna be like oh here it was you you can you can be sure that it's gonna be on your skin for at least eight hours okay even though you don't smell it everyone else is able to smell it now I've never tested the x ray version. I've never had that one, so I don't know how they compare. People are saying that the x ray is better. For me, this one is just perfect. I don't need the x ray Maybe if I'm going to test it, I'm going to be like, oh, I actually need this. Uh, but right now, I'm super happy with Baccarat Rouge. I just love it. On the paper, it's not that strong. Not going to lie. But like, I know, I know, because I wore this one like a billion times right now. On your skin, it's amazing. Even though so many people are wearing this, people are still giving you compliments and people are still going crazy about this scent. I don't know how, because like right now for me, when I smell Baccarat Rouge, it's just like, oh, someone else is wearing Baccarat Rouge. I'm not having that like, ooh, what is this? Because 
I don't know what it is. Um, maybe that's why. But it's so good. Like, it's so good. Where I live in Manchester, honestly, like, every day I smell like at least five people wearing Baccarat Rouge. If you live in an area where people don't wear this perfume, trust me, you're gonna turn heads because this is just amazing. It's... Oh, I know it's marketed as unisex. For me, it's more um, feminine. Not gonna lie. For me, it's more feminine. I feel like I would like it on a guy, but I don't know. I just I just associate Baccarat Rouge with um, with females because like obviously it's so so popular, especially in the uh, female community. So I love it. I just love it. Do whatever you want, wear whatever you want, but I still feel like this one is more like feminine because like I said, on me and the way I smell it, I'm smelling the sweetness. I'm not. I'm getting that hospital thing just in the opening. Some people are getting that in like the entire time. You know that like clean medicinal hospital smell? Like dentist smell? Like, it's weird, but it's like very, very pleasant. Um, absolutely love this. I absolutely love this one. Baccarat Rouge um, from Azor Francis Cortijan. Now, let's move on to Ariana Grande. Again, I don't have the newest one, the Intense, the 2.0. I don't have that one. I have the original. Um, I'm not crazy to go and test that one because I've heard people saying that it's almost the same. That one just has better lasting power and better, better sillage. Most people are complaining about this. Um, that it doesn't have the best lasting power or sillage. On me, it's very good. So I cannot complain. Now, Ariana Grande. See, now that I have Baccarat Rouge, I can like totally smell the differences. Like before, I wasn't really, like before when I first got Ariana, I was like, oh, this is identical to Baccarat Rouge. It's not. Ariana Grande has lavender, pear, bergamot. In the opening middle, we have whipped cream, praline, coconut, and vanilla orchid. And right now we have musk and woody notes. See, now that I have both of them, they're different. I'm not gonna lie, it still has a Baccarat Rouge vibe, okay, so the vibe is still there, okay, the vibe is still there, but with this one, I'm definitely getting the lavender, I'm getting the coconut, I'm getting, like, the whipped cream is very creamy, it's more like, it's sweeter, it doesn't have that aquatic thing going on, that salty aquatic, it doesn't really... <laughs> Maybe still has a little bit of like a dentist office, like a hospital, just like a little bit, but it's definitely more, it's sweeter and it's not as airy as Baccarat Rouge. With Baccarat Rouge, I feel like the air smells nice, okay? This one, it feels more like a perfume, if that makes any sense. I really like this one as well. I would wear this one, like Baccarat Rouge for me is like all year round. I would wear this one more like spring, maybe summer evenings. Why not? But it's like a very comforting scent just because right now I'm starting to get the coconut very like strongly, but I'm still getting the lavender and lavender is not necessarily a summer note. So that's why I would say like evenings more that different okay like when you smell them side by side that different but that's still similar like there's still something similar okay um if i would smell first just aviana grande i would say maybe it's more similar to baccarat rouge but immediately after i smell baccarat rouge i'm like that different that's why i don't mind having both of them um, I'm not uh, wearing Ariana Grande as a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. I'm wearing it as a completely different scent because it's different. Okay, it's different on its own way. Um, you need to test them both of them to see exactly which one you prefer. If you have Ariana Grande, if you're happy with this, good. You don't need Baccarat Rouge. But if you want something different, same vibe. But I like Baccarat Rouge more. I'm not gonna lie. I like Baccarat Rouge more. <sighs> That's Ariana. See, now with Bac because I'm comparing them side by side, Baccarat Rouge is giving me more that hospital vibe. But I really enjoy that. 
like I really enjoy that it's a bit salty and Ariana is definitely getting me like whipped cream and, uh, and coconut and lavender love both of them but I like Baccarat Rouge more now let's move on to Burberry Her um, actually before I tested Baccarat Rouge or Ariana I tested Burberry Her and this one was just like oh my god I need, the, I need this thing in my life if you don't know Burberry Her um, was created by Francis Courtesian. So I adore this thing. Burberry her ha, Burberry her has opening strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, black currant, mandarin orange, and lemon. In the middle we have violet and jasmine, and the dry down we have musk, vanilla, oak musk, cashmere, and woody notes, amber, and patchouli. As you can see, these three perfumes have like nothing in common. When you're looking at the notes now Burberry her which one it's okay this one is Baccarat oh my god I, I absolutely adore Burberry her if you ask me I like Burberry her more than Baccarat Rouge I do it definitely this one how do I say it the base it's way more similar to Baccarat Rouge than Ariana Grande, okay? Like for me, this one is Baccarat Rouge and I said this a billion times and now I have both of them so I can say it again. And I'm like, I have both of them, okay? I'm not crazy. Um, for me, Burberry Her smells like Baccarat Rouge but with this super sweet, creamy, strawberry milkshake on top. That it's extremely strong. Like you're def this is what I'm getting. I'm not getting raspberry... It's not like a berry, just berry in general. I'm just getting strawberry milkshake. Like no violet or jasmine or like, no. Strawberry, very creamy, sweet, delicious strawberry milkshake on top of Baccarat Rouge. This is what I'm getting. I just adore it. Like, uh. see, I really like Baccarat Rouge. Burberry hair is just, it's my thing. I don't know how, I don't know why. Obviously, this one is way cheaper and why I bought both of them because like I said, I prefer this one Just because I like both of them. Like I don't want to smell all the time like a um, strawberry milkshake But I just adore it. Like I adore it. I think you can definitely have both of them You can definitely have the Ariana Grande and the Burberry Her Check this one out. Even though you have um, Baccarat Rouge Check this one out. You might actually like this one more than Baccarat Rouge. And now the last one we have Burberry Her Intense. This one um, has red fruit and blackberry. And then in the middle we have jasmine and the dry down we have benzoin. Comparing to the original, like the, the notes are not that complicated. Um, this one, it has somewhere in the background a hint of Baccarat Rouge, but it's mostly this like berry syrup like lots and lots of very sweet berries it has it still has that airiness okay that all of them have so that's why probably people are still comparing it to Baccarat Rouge but I would say this one is the least similar to Baccarat Rouge and it's just in the open in the dry down I'm not really getting benzoin I'm getting more like this amber it's just getting like slightly darker and it's not as fluffy and as airy as um, all of the other ones but it's still very very fruity like syrupy like very syrupy I do really like it I have um, moments when I like this one like a lot but I would say it's not my favorite from like all of this it has good lasting power the Burberry Her the original is like very strong, like extremely strong on my skin. This one is good, even though it's the intense version for me, the original has a better lasting power and projection. I do really like it as well, but I'll have to say, my favorite from all of these four is Burberry Her. I just adore this. I just adore this scent. I know that strawberry some people are saying i'm not getting that some people are not getting the strawberry milkshake this is what i'm getting i absolutely adore it um yeah burberry her is my favorite for sure then it's baccarat rouge 
and with this two I cannot really say which one is my favorite because I like both of them uh, but if I would have to choose one and I mean just one I would go with Burberry Her I would go with that one because that strawberry is just so good so yummy I love it and it has like a touch a twist it has something different because like I said right now where I live everyone and I mean everyone is wearing Baccarat Rouge and um, yeah I hope this video helped I hope um, if you have any of these ones you maybe now you are thinking to get another one or if you were thinking to get another one um, now you know if you're gonna like it or not like I said these ones are not the closest tubes to Baccarat Rouge right now they're like so many other perfumes that smell like identical to Baccarat Rouge these are just perfumes that have a vibe something similar is something in there that's going to remind you of Baccarat Rouge but they're not dupes okay that was it for today guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye